This episode was brought to you by Dashlane. I'm sure most of you have noticed by now, but over the last few months I've become incredibly passionate about garbage trucks. Who wouldn't? Once you see one of these beauties in their natural habitat doing what they do best with the trash, it's impossible not to fall in love with these gorgeous machines. I'm even wearing my new favorite shirt that I got for Christmas. I heart love garbage trucks. And I do. And I think it's time to finally deliver a very special tier list that even my dogs can get excited for. A tier list ranking the different kinds of garbage trucks. So let's kick this shit off with an absolute banger, an automated side loader, ASL. Typically when you hear ASL, it makes you think of Omegle or a chat room where you're being preyed on by a child predator online because ASL stands for age, sex, location in those areas. But to me, now when I see ASL, I just immediately think of a garbage truck. An automated side loader is an incredible machine. It has this giant claw on the side of it that gets in there and really just fucking manhandles the trash throws it right in the gullet, just dumps it in, and it is a thing of beauty. And it takes a very talented pilot to operate one of these machines, and when it works, it is euphoric to watch, and I can only imagine how it feels. The power you command with an ASL to just completely brutalize the trash, get it right into the, the hopper, like you're playing paintball, incredible stuff. The ASL is an easy S-tier garbage truck design. The ASL models are some of the best. It's an incredible spectator sport. If you just want to follow around garbage trucks and watch the ASLs in action, you're going to have a great day on Garbage Day. Or if you just want to watch ASL compilations, you're going to be fucking blown back into your chair with some of these. The automated side loaders, they just know how to have fun. And they're very efficient. And now it's time to talk about an S-tier product, and that, my friends, is Dashlane. Lots of sites on the internet have way too many passwords to keep track of, and security questions can often become a hassle, like I constantly forget all of that, so it just becomes a real absolute headache, and it just sucks. And Dashlane makes it far more efficient and convenient to have all of the passwords managed for you, and just keep everything in line, so that way when you're cruising the internet, you don't need to constantly be thinking about, like, SAT prep questions, trying to remember your security questions to a website you haven't visited in a month. You can just use Dashlane to get rid of that hassle. It helps you manage your passwords, personal information, and financials. It helps you fly through checkouts by making it much more efficient. And it just allows you to explore the internet safer and more conveniently. And it works across all devices, Apple, PC, Android, the whole shebang. So if you want to try Dashlane for yourself, you can go to dashlane.com slash penguinz to try Dashlane for free on your first device. And when you're ready to upgrade to premium, you can use code penguinz to get 10% off premium. That's dashlane.com slash penguinz. Moving on, we have the front loaders, oftentimes referred to as front end loaders, an FL or an FEL. FL, another abbreviation that isn't typically associated with garbage trucks. Typically when you see FL, you think of Florida. But the nice thing about that is Florida is basically just a giant fucking dump truck anyway, so it still kind of works. Front loaders are absolutely wonderful. These bad boys have two giant spikes on the front, like a Mad Max death machine. And much like the rhinoceros, it uses these horns to hunt its prey. These two giant spikes that kind of look like a forklift go in the sides of dumpsters and then meticulously lift it up into the air, positioned over the top of the garbage truck, and then dump, fucking slam dunk in that shit into the back of the garbage truck, and then it is slowly lifted back down to earth. It's probably one of the most common and most reliable garbage trucks you'll see on the road for dumpster dumping. By far my favorite part about front loaders is the fact that they don't just turn it over and call it a day. They turn it over and then start slamming it against the fucking back of the truck to get every last morsel of trash out there. Every molecule of garbage must be violently shaken out of it like Homer Simpson strangling Bart. They like hydraulically bash the dumpster against like the opening in the garbage truck until it is completely brutalized and destroyed. They beat the shit out of it like it owed them money and then they finally set it down like they were trying to teach it a lesson. It's, it's incredible. I absolutely love front loaders. Another easy S-tier garbage truck. Next up, we have the rarest garbage truck on this list. It's a grapple garbage truck, often referred to as a knuckle boom or sometimes even a clam garbage truck, depending on who you talk to. And this is like sh finding a shiny Pokemon if you happen to stumble across one of these bad boys. It's such a unique species, and evolution truly is a magical and confusing thing. This garbage truck has one giant flex arm that'll stretch out 
and pick up trash and then bring it back to the uh, opening to be deposited. It's like playing the claw game to win a stuffed animal at the arcade, except instead of stuffed animals, you're getting something so much cooler. You're getting fucking garbage, which is awesome. It's operated by a single man who goes through at least 10 years of apprenticeship training with the flex arm and then at least five years of just studying. And after this 15 year period, he finally graduates to being able to fully operate one of these vehicles out in the, the real world, out in the real action, the Crucible. So easily the grapple garbage truck is an S tier. Next up we have what I find to be one of the most underwhelming garbage truck models. This is the manual side loader. And it's kind of interesting because it does blend two different disciplines of garbage truck. It has the semi-automated side loader as well as just the actual human element, which I think is very interesting. So basically in a nutshell, the manual side loader has tiny little baby arms like these little baby fingers where the driver will get out of the car and take the garbage cans to those little baby fingers and then he presses a button and it lifts it up and dumps it and then he presses it again, drops it down and he takes it back. So you have to have an actual person putting the garbage trucks in there, it can't just reach out and grab it itself. So it's just kind of a worse version of an automated side loader. But even still, another great garbage truck, I'm putting that bad boy in A tier. Next up we have the roll-off garbage trucks, and I gotta be honest, these are kind of special, but I don't think they're super interesting. What makes the roll-off special is the fact that they're kind of going extinct due to just predation, as well as just other species popping up that are just overrunning them. Uh, right now, waste management services are more interested in buying the Mac Granites as well as some of the other newer models to replace the roll-offs. So they're kind of just an endangered species, which makes them kind of exotic, but to the untrained eye, they're a pretty standard garbage truck that doesn't have any unique loading methods to it. What makes it unique is the fact that, as, it name, as its name would imply, the entire back end of it rolls off the truck. So when it does get back to its watering hole, what'll happen is it'll lift up the entire back unit and slide it off and then reload with a clean unit to go back out there into the action, right into the heart of the Thunderdome. So it is pretty cool in that regard, but if you're just watching as a spectator, it's going to look like just another old garbage truck with nothing too unique about it, unless you, of course, follow it all the way back to the Waste Management Services building. But I don't think too many people are doing that, so for that reason, I'm going to have to put it into an A tier. Next up, we have the garbage truck pretty much all of you are most familiar with. It is the gold standard garbage truck, the Rear Loader. This is the one that you think of when you think of a garbage truck in your head. In fact, this right here, this uh, Microsoft Paint Clip Art model of a garbage truck is most likely a rear loader. I can't, you know, get my finger in here and tell for sure what it is. But if I had to guess, they modeled it after a rear loader that they saw at some point because it's just such a standard classic garbage truck. As the name would imply, it's a garbage truck where all the action is happening in the back. And what'll happen is two of the garbage men will start collecting the trash on the street, throwing it in the back, and then compressing it into the uh, up area of the truck, making it smaller to fit more trash in there. And it's, it's gluttonous. It can handle a lot of volume. A surprising amount of trash can fit into a rear loader. And this is the one that I'm sure most of you saw growing up, probably still see to this day because it's still very popular, even though more automated side loaders are kind of taken over. The rear loader is still just such... An American classic and it is still very efficient at what it does the rear loader it's got to be an S tier a hundred percent these are really the main models of garbage trucks that I wanted to focus on today and put on the tier list because these are the ones that I think you might have the highest chance of seeing out in the real world and if you can you know experience the joy of watching some of these in action your third eye is truly going to open and you know like the tier list says there's no bad garbage trucks really they're all S tier and A tier the garbage trucks are truly just wonderful, so uh, yeah, that's really about it. See ya.